um, like every year, you know, we have pretty high expectations. Um, you know, we want to compete, you know, for the city championship and uh, also for the state championship. So every year we always have high expectations. I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been Spencer. He said, uh, we can't get city champs, we'll get state champs. Like, yeah. I mean, that's kind of, a, I mean, I think that's a good attitude to, yeah. to have. Uh, you, know, it's, you know, it gives us a go. Um, obviously, you know, we want to go with the highest one uh, as we, we want to go as high as we can. And then, um, you know, if that doesn't, if we don't, you know, if that doesn't pan out, then, you know, keep the kids motivated and something to look forward to so they can continue to fight and battle through the rest of the season. What are some of the things, you know, that we're working on here through the summer and you know, ahead of, especially when the pads come on next week? Um, you know, mainly, you know, conditioning, um, trying to get the kids acclimated to the weather. Uh, you know, it's a long season and, um, you know, they got to be, you know, in shape the best they can and, uh, you know, also lifting weights. Um, you know, learning the plays, so, you know, that's a, just going to come with repetition. We're just trying to get their bodies and their minds right for the long haul, the a long season. I know, uh, I know, I know they like to play fast and with the weather. I mean, in Spring, Kentucky, you go from it's really hot at the start of the season to yes. it's cold, really cold yeah. at the end of the season. I mean, it's a lot to have to deal with. I mean, just how do you make guys able to equip to? to I mean, to... You, you know, you get them out um, in practice. You don't try to go to the extreme of you know weather wise, but you do got to get them out there and get them exposed to the you know different temperatures throughout the you know seasons of you know how crazy it is in the state of Kentucky. What is your specialty with the team? Uh, my specialty, I'm uh, the D-line coach, so I get to work with the guys up front. Um, you know, just trying to get them to develop the right type of attitude uh, to play defensive line because you know it's an aggressive um, sport, and you got to be an aggressive player to play at that position. How, uh, um, from your side of it, looking at, I've been asking all the coaches, uh, you know, the importance of quarterback in, in college and NFL, everybody knows, you know, especially in the NFL, if you have a good quarterback, you might as well not have a team. Right. Uh, you know, high school, how does that translate to high school? Oh, it's, it's, it, it can actually make or break your team because if you have a quality quarterback and a, if he's a student of the game, then he'll get the ball to the right person. He'll keep plays alive. He'll, you know, make smart decisions. Um, defensively, you know, you don't have to be a great defensive player. Well, you, if you're a decent um, defensive team and you put all the pressure on the quarterback um, because, you know, he, if he's going to be throwing balls close to the sideline, he's going to have to be able to drop it in perfect every time. But so, you know, the pressure is mainly on the quarterback to, you know, like I said, to advance the teams, um, depending on how many games they win or lose this year. So you would say as a defense that, that is – Usually, I mean, I know it can in different situations you would call for different things, but quarterback is the guy you're most worried about most yeah, of the time. Yeah, I'm like I said, <laughs> because you know the, the success of your team will depend largely on your quarterback, how good your quarterback is. You know, like when Tim Couch was here, you know, phenomenal high school quarterback in the state of Kentucky. That's why their team did as well as they did. Where, uh, uh, you know, where is the team right now? Do you think? Where team? I think uh, I think we're miles ahead of where we were last year. I think we have the closeness as a team to where, you know, um, you know, we're doing things together. We're, um, you know, gelling well and positive on the field and off the field. Um, so I just think, like I said, you know, we're miles ahead of we were last year. What kind of bonding stuff have, have you all done with them off the field or just – Trips I mean, it's, it's or not, you know, it's, we're not going, you know, out of our way to, you know, emphasize, you know, doing activities and stuff. It's just these group of kids, you know, they all know each other, they all hang out, and they do stuff together. So it's not like something that we're forcing them, or like I said, we're not creating activities or situations where they have to gel with each other. They're just doing it naturally on their own, taking it on themselves. Yes, that's good. I mean, as a coach, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Seeing no, that leadership yeah. is nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't have any, you know, negativity in the locker rooms. Um, that's kind of, you know, would be cancerous, you know, for our team right now. Like I said, everybody has a positive attitude and we're all working together. How do you think adding a new team into the city championship, you know, affects the guys as far as motivation and, and especially since, you know, they, along with Station and, you know, some of the other schools lost, you know, right, lost I mean, guys at that school just because of the way it kind yeah, of Yeah, I think, I think that just adds um, more excitement to it because a lot of the players that's going to be on Douglas' team are players from the other high schools. So, they know the, uh, a lot of the players personally, and you know you kind of have that um, competition when you know when they were at the old school and now they're at the new school. So that's just going to carry over to win the games. Just hopefully, you know, it stays friendly. <laughs>